Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make custom camos for your guns and Black Ops 3 mod tools. Now this is going to be like the basics of it. This isn't going to be showing you how to like import custom like textures and stuff. This is just going to be showing you how to put it on the weapon itself. So if you know how to do everything else, then this should be pretty easy for you. If you don't, then uh, this might be uh, pretty AIDS for you. It really depends. But here, first thing we're going to do, we're going to find our gun. I'm going to take the PKP Pachanka, I remember the hell this thing's called. And we're going to put a YouTuber's, uh, what's it called? Not a YouTuber. We're, yeah, a YouTuber's uh, image on it. We're going to put DK Dynamite's logo. Here, I'll find it for you guys. New, so we'll go to new, where is it? Textures. Now, I haven't named as Yodi Slay, but we're going to be using DK Dynamite's logo here. Credit, Full credit to him, I will leave his link in the description. He's an amazing news channel for anything Call of Duty, so please go follow and subscribe to him. Anyway, we're gonna go here and we're gonna grab. Now you'll see this thing has like a thing, like a blank texture here or whatever. Just don't worry about it because we're worrying about this right here. So if you go here and you go, you see this thing, color map, copy that, put it into. Now if we go back to the the Pachanka, I remember like how it was, PKP. Go back to here. You'll see it has this normal looking map thing. Go up here, you want to change a couple of things. Change this from lit weapon to lit emissive scroll. You can either do lit emissive scroll or transparent, those are all matter. You'll see it flashing, service type, we're just going to change whatever but I use to make it shiny. Full, full gl uh, gloss range. Emissive map, so we're going to put this. Boom. Now we have the logo here. Now we're going to see it's still, uh, still black. Uh, it's just here, just the ball. And what we're going to do is we're going to click use gameplay intensity. Now this is going to put his logo on your gun. Now you can do this with any texture you want. You can do like, I don't know, fucking Mr. T-Lux Fi's logo or some, I don't even know, it doesn't matter. But you have the logo on there now. Now let's say you want to make it brighter or duller. So you want to go to HDR scale, put this to like whatever number you want. We're going to put it to 4. See, it makes it lighter. Now fall off will make it like... In, like inclusive like if I do that it'll make it like go in more so you don't see it as much we're gonna leave that at zero if we could change that to whatever you want now lighting can leave that uses camo this is for like let's say you want this to be above your pack a punch camo let's say you have this camo on normally a normal gun then you pack a punch if you put use as camo I'm pretty sure this will override the pack a punch camo so this will be there instead of the pack a punch. So if you want that, you can. So if you don't, you can unclick it. But now we're going to go to the scrolling part. So if you want this to move, let's say you don't want just a standstill. Let's say you want it to move. So you can put point. I like doing point one. Now this will make it move. You can do like whatever you want. You can put point one, you can put two, and it'll go like super fast. But I like leaving the point one so it doesn't cause any crazy seizures or anything. And uh, UV rotation, I don't really use that, you can just put that there. Scale, you could, this depends on you, you could do like five, like two, this will like make like the logo smaller. So now on the gun, it'll be a little bit bigger. So now you have a moving DK Dynamite logo on a gun. So you can put this in your map and like if the person holds it, like this will look like it in game. I'll show you in a bit, I'll load it up. But after this, you go back here. You could use, now, if you don't, let's say you don't want this flashing. Let's say you, you have seizures, you don't like flashing. Like, you go down here, you can do flicker speed, and put that to zero. And then this will get rid of all the flashing. This will just make it normal camo, no flashing. Now, I just want to go back up here and put the HDR scale back down. Let's put it at six, make it a little bit brighter. But, uh, yeah, that's how you put a custom camo on. Now, it's fully working on the gun. There is no problems, no errors. Now, oh, I want, to, I want to show you something. For any texture, so if you go like new, the one I was using, go to here. You want to click MIP map, disable, and normalize channels. Because if you have these unclicked, look what happens. You'll go back, it'll be this blank, you'll see nothing here. So you want to click these two. Then it'll fix itself. Then it'll be there. Now this, I'm going to test it. I'm pretty sure, because it's looking at a 2D blend and stuff. But the material with it's doing it as auto, so you should be fine. But anyway, we're going to go back to the PKP, PKP, and we're going to go here. Now, I'm pretty sure that's it for most of the stuff. I mean, if you want to change the color map of, like, the background, I guess you could just... Can we do this again? And we'll just... No, do not do that. Just leave the normal maps and everything. So, yeah, this gun should be fully working. I'm going to compile everything, and we're going to go in the game and see how this looks. See you in a bit. 
Alright guys, we are in game now, and I'm going to be showing you this camo on this gun that we just did. Now, if everything works out correctly, we should be seeing this camo work. So we go here, and control V the name in, or no, hold on. We gotta go to give, and then the gun name. Okay, look, perfectly works. Now you have a fully functioning custom camo. Like anything you want, but I usually take down the light. Remember how we use it? Now this camo looks amazing. I'm gonna be doing much more for my I'm gonna be doing a lot more tutorials. If you guys want anything specific, tell me, maybe I can do it for you guys. But other than that, just how to make a custom camo and uh, a lot of tools. And uh, thank you for watching, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, see you guys later.